Here we go again. We live in a world where Manchester United, after 21 games of a serious Premier League season, have scored the same number of goals as Luton Town, 24. Fewer than Brentford, Fulham, and Bournemouth. So naturally, Sir Jim Ratcliffe's first big move, according to latest updates, will be to revamp the United, defense and ship off Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, Raphael Varane, and Johnny Evans in one fell swoop. The cavalry of defenders supposedly coming in replacing them include Everton starlet, Jared Branthwaite, Ineos-owned nice best centre-back, Jean-Claire Todibo, and, even more obviously, the former Eric Ten Hag, Ajax disciple, Matthijs De Ligt. The Galatasaray fullback Sacha Bowie is also said to have attracted United's attention. So that's all completely normal and feasible, and don't worry about the four main forwards who have scored eight goals between them all season. As I introduced, Manchester United are reportedly planning a summer revamp of their defensive options, with Jared Branthwaite and Matthijs De Ligt on their radar. The Red Devils are already drawing up plans for the next transfer window, with January expected to be quiet at Old Trafford. The Premier League giants are confident that Sir Jim Ratcliffe's acquisition of a 25% stake in the club will be ratified in February. Funds will then be made available for further additions, with United ready to prioritize a tightening up at the back. According to ESPN, center halves boasting pedigree and potential figure prominently on the club's wish list, with Everton star Branthwaite and Bayern Munich ace delict, very much in the Red Devils' sights. Meanwhile, former Barcelona defender Jean-Claire Todibo, who is now at Nice, and Galatasaray fullback Sacha Bowie are also said to be attracting interest from Manchester. Eric Ten Hag is aware of the need to plug defensive leaks after enduring issues at both ends of the field in 2023-24. With fresh faces seemingly on the way, there will also be departures from Old Trafford. Johnny Evans is out of contract at the end of the season, no extension option has been triggered in Rafael Varane's deal, and former club captain Harry Maguire will be allowed to leave if suitable offers are tabled on the other side. Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim is taking legal advice in the USA after claims he did not provide proof of funds when he tried to buy Manchester United. Sheikh Jassim's 4.5 billions of pounds debt-free bid included a bank guarantee signed by the chief executive of Qatar National Bank, the largest financial institution in the Middle East and Africa. The Qataris insist their cash bid was fully funded. Their view is that a deal did not materialize because they refused to overpay more than they believed they were already overpaying for a club whose current makes cap is 2.6 billions of pounds. Jassim's bid team are bemused and amused that United told shareholders in the US on Wednesday that they have not provided proof of funds as they sought to buy 100% of the club and pay off its debts. They believe a misleading impression has been created, which does not reflect the fact that they made a series of authentic, credible, and fully funded bids to buy the club. Their bids included protections around financial surety and were fully and legally documented and submitted by letter. They are taking legal advice about whether to ask the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to issue what they consider would be a corrective statement to set the record straight. The Qataris believe there is no way the Glazers would have negotiated personally with them for almost a year if there was ever any question about proof of funds. Sheikh Jassim is understood to have incurred costs of many millions of dollars running his bid team of lawyers, bankers, and advisors. Ultimately, Sheikh Jassim was not prepared to be a minority shareholder which in his view would not materially change the future of the club. Manchester United stand by the statements in the documents published on Wednesday and are not commenting any further. Meanwhile, Manchester United have a rare free weekend ahead, with the Premier League in the midst of its annual winter break. It has been almost a week since the last outing for Eric Ten Hag's squad, when Rasmus Hoyland and Marcus Rashford scored in the 2-2 draw against Tottenham Hotspur at Old Trafford. Our next appointment is on Sunday, 28th January, for the Emirates FA Cup fourth round tie at League Two club Newport County. So, why the blank slate and 14-day gap in games? After all, other Premier League teams, including Arsenal and Liverpool, are in top-flight action over the coming days. It's all down to the Premier League's decision to split its 22nd game week in half, 
meaning each team is given some time to rest and recuperate in January after another busy festive schedule. Ten of the top flight's teams, including United, played last weekend, while the remainder, who had their feet up seven days ago, are set to resume this weekend. The Premier League's next full set of fixtures will be played in midweek, between 30 January and 1st February, with United journeying to Molyneux to play Wolverhampton Wanderers on the Thursday evening. Ten Hag has given his squad time off to recharge, and some have taken the opportunity for a holiday, with several members of the squad sharing pictures of their travels on social media. If you're looking for a United fix this weekend, our under-18s face their counterparts and crosstown rivals, Manchester City. The game is being shown live on MUTV, and kickoff at Carrington is scheduled for 11 now GMT. Then, on Sunday, United women are expecting a bumper crowd at Stamford Bridge for a crunch WSL clash with reigning champions Chelsea. That one gets underway at 12.30 GMT, and you can follow along in the United app, where they'll have live radio commentary and regular updates from SW6. Again and again. Former Manchester United trialist makes transfer admission amid 8.5 millions of pounds. Barcelona.links. 17-year-old Jurgarden star Lucas Bergvall has spoken about recent transfer speculation around his future amid links of a move to Man United, Borussia Dortmund, or Barcelona. Swedish football talent Lucas Bergvall has addressed speculation about his future after previously having trials at Manchester United. It was reported by Fotball Direct in January 2022 that Bergvall, then aged 16, was expected to arrive at Carrington ahead of a potential trial. It was claimed that the midfielder featured for United's under-16 team as part of the trial, with pictures appearing online appearing to show the youngster in a United shirt. Bergvall would not end up signing for United and is now playing for Djurgården in the first tier of Swedish football. The 17-year-old has been heavily linked with a move to Barcelona since the start of the January transfer window. It has been reported by 90 Min that United plan to hold talks with Djurgården over a possible deal for Bergvall. The report states, United are keen to bring the talented midfielder who is reported to be a fan of the club, to the Premier League. Amid the continued speculation around his future, Bergvall has explained how the rumors are affecting him. The midfielder went on to admit that he does not know if he will be moving clubs in the near or distant future. I know there is a lot of speculation, but I'm trying to focus on the national team and I'm happy to be here for the January tour, said Bergvall, via Spanish news outlet Mundo Deportivo. Now I'm a Jurgarden player. I am proud that my club is asking for so much money, but Jurgarden and my agents will take care of that. I don't know where I will play next season. As well as United and Barcelona, Bundesliga duo Borussia Dortmund and Eintracht Frankfurt have also been credited as potential suitors to sign Bergvall. Any deal for the teenager, though, is thought to be likely to wait until the summer, with the player reported to be valued at around 8 million of euros to 10 million of euros, which is 6.8 million of pounds to 8.5 millions of pounds.